fire away. I'm Rob Burrell, and I'm an engineer uh, based out of Nashville, Tennessee. And we are going to be talking today about the fundamentals, technically, and the basic concepts of mixing in Dolby Atmos. The way that Atmos works uh, on, a, on a basic level compared to 5.1, 5.1 was five speakers, left, center, right, and two surround channels that were essentially, from a music standpoint, they were discrete channels. You could place things in those channels, but trying to pan a source halfway in between the front left and the rear left could often be problematic. It would, it would work for the one person in the proper seating position, but it would kind of fall apart for everyone else because there were phasing issues. What Atmos does is they have literal brilliant rocket scientists over there at Dolby that have written math to fix all those phase problems when you're moving not only from speaker to speaker, but because we use height channels, they can now allow you to place an object anywhere inside a three-dimensional space, which means you can create any three-dimensional space that you want. And it means that whether you're in a cinema with 65 speakers or you're in, you know, AirPod Pros in your head, because the format is, it's doing math and decoding in real time, those objects stay in place no matter how many channels you're playing back. When I talk about an object, we'll see this when I get into, uh, into Pro Tools, Atmos uses beds and objects. So a basic bed is a 7.1.2 bed, which is left center, right, left surround, right surround, left rear surround, right rear surround, with a single subwoofer channel, a single subwoofer channel, uh, LFE channel, and then two height speakers. That's a bed. The objects are one of 128 assignable sources that you can place anywhere in a three-dimensional space. And because that object has math that is saying where it exists in a three-dimensional space, the Dolby engine can then upscale that to a 64-channel cinema or down into binaural headphones and that object will always stay in that same position. So the accuracy across multiple scaled sized formats can remain the same. 5.1 had so many limitations of what you can do and now Atmos literally allows me to place things here, 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 put, you know, put a guitar player on my shoulder, whatever I want and and the listener is going to experience it that way, whether they're on AirPod Pros or, you know, playing back even in a cinema.